Sometimes it pays to read instructions. Look at this little nugget right here. Once the sealer is completely cured, use a razor blade or utility knife to scrape the sealer so that it is smooth and there are no runs or bumps. I like that. I think that'd be much easier than trying to get in there and sand it. Repeat the process so that everything except the deck has two coats of sealer. This is important as one coat is not enough to be 100% waterproof. Let's give that a try. If you uh, look in here, maybe you can see it. I can pick it up on camera. <clears throat> the, uh, the epoxy, you can hear it too. It's kind of fuzzy. So, yeah, I want to scrape that. And then... Uh, the second coat Let's see how it scrapes that poisonous off I'm gonna scrape all this not to do it on camera but then I also have to um, build a tray for my um, ESC. That did not take long. I don't think it was 10 minutes tops to do the whole entire tub. Now I'm just finishing up here with the uh, bottom ski. That was a very effective way to cut all them fuzzies off. Listen, you can hear that it's smooth. I can feel it, but you can hear that it's smooth. I'll vacuum this out and then uh, we'll get on with uh, making an ESC tray and then putting a second coat sealer. I'm not sure why. I think this is such an awesome idea, but these are the dummy formers that come with the kit. Placed inside the tub at different times during the build to keep it square while you're epoxying it together. But that's going to be my ESC tray. So cut these out. This will these will be blocks to raise it up off the floor. This is the same thickness. As I got my battery tray cut down to. But yeah, that has uh, flavors of um, zip kit just written all over it for a uh, tray for the ESC. I have the ESC tray made. I have the location figured out. I had the ESC strapped to here, had the motor in, figure out where it needs to be. I have the pads epoxied on, bottom sides and inside the X is sealed. At this point now I'm going to put a second coat of sealer and epoxy this in at the same time and seal the rest of the tub with a second coat. If you're going to be building boats I would recommend going on Amazon buying this stuff in bulk small popsicle sticks mixing sticks if you will regular size ones and then the uh, small cups and the large cups okay we need a large cup put a second coat on Don't think I'll need as much for a second coat. Let's go three tenths each.
I'm not sure if the um, denatured alcohol just reacts strongly to the epoxy initially. It's kind of interesting though how it turns milky at first and it just takes a bit to, to blend. Going to mix up a dab of uh, full strength 15 minute epoxy. Put that under the pads on the ESC tray. So I can leave that set right here and I'll start sealing. I think I can put this sealer everywhere on the bottom because this is all compatible. So also, I'm pretty sure this second coat is going to be way less. It's not going to be soaking in. Yeah, that looks nice. Looks like it's going to be smooth because it's not raising the fuzzies on the, um, the wood. Now I can drop this in. Center it up. I'm not gonna do all this on camera. So let's get the second coat on and then show you what it looks like when I'm done. I probably use half as much sealer for the second coat. It's looking nice. No more fuzzies. And now I'm on to the top deck. Putting these lips on the underside. And for me, I'm only going to be using this lip and this lip. And that's because I'm going to be building a stealth um, cowling. It's time to open this box. Balsa USA. Unbelievable service. Regular shipping here in two days. And knowing what I ordered, can't believe it came in this box. That ain't gonna work. Stables. This was not getting damaged in the mail. Yep. 
birch plywood. Material for the self cowing and also for the lips of any material 16 plywood this long. Now we're getting into some good stuff. This piece of wood like this. Next part of this build, stealth counting at a 16th birch plywood. That's all the pieces of 16th birch plywood cut out for the 33 FE Stealth Cow. I've scaled up the 21 um, ABS Cow. I've used the height off of the 33 FE stock ABS Cow. At this point, I'm going to document all the dimensions. If you want to build one, that's not hard to document. Hard parts cutting out the plywood. To make the main deck, simply trace that out of the top deck. Radius these corners. The high point will be at six and a half inches back, and the high point, the height will be inch and a quarter. For the top front piece, it's five and a half inches long. For the top back piece, 18 inches. Both of these are two and a quarter wide at each end and inch and a half wide in the middle. That's the dimensions for the Stealth Cow, the 33 FE Zip Kits Rigger. Now I'm going to put this together, mock it up with blue tape, see what it looks like. There it is, Stealth Cow for the 33 FE Rigger. Something I failed to mention, it's a quarter inch off the edge all the way around. Also, I haven't done the cutout. 
so the inside is open. My plan after I cut the inside out, epoxy this together, is to put one layer of two ounce fiberglass cloth on it and then seal it up and paint it.